now it says sheep. Now it says pig. And here it will say cow. Alright guys, so I'll be showing you guys, um, today we'll be making a script that uses all of the things you've seen up to now, or at least uh, the most recent that we've made. So I haven't actually made the tutorials for this yet as I'm recording, but I will be doing them in the future. So, uh, first off is the episode on the screens. Just so, today's project is going to be a pretty simple one. Uh, it's you can take it as a challenge, challenge yourself to do this before maybe watching the end and showing how I code it, or or you can just go ahead and watch and uh, see what my process is, so that you guys learn to make your own scripts um, just the way I do it. So yeah, hope you guys learned something from uh, how I would go about making a script that just goes and attacks, for example, the sheep. That's that's what I'm going to do. So when you look at the sheep in particular, not the cow, not the pig, just the sheep, it'll attack the sheep. So in order to do this, you need to know what's going to trigger it. And to trigger uh, the attack, which uh, is a swing of the sword, you will have to be, you have to be, um, be able to know what you're looking at. So the cow, the sheep, and the pig. And you should be constantly checking. So this will be inside a loop. Uh, since you're always looking at different things at any time, random time, you you could be looking at sheep, or you could be looking at a pig. So, for example, you need to be swinging at the sheep, but not the pig. So let's go ahead and pull up the uh, debug screen, which is over here. If you guys remember the debug screen, I've showed it off in these settings. And all the way down here, you have to enable it, uh, sh show the environment. It doesn't have to be, uh, yes, actually you do show the environment, include keys, that is not needed. Uh, and go ahead and click OK. If you don't click OK, this won't save and it won't show the debug screen. So click OK on that and leave leave that. And here you have the debug screen on the left hand side. It is very small. I have a very small GUI. But if you look in the very left column, you will see hit name sheep. It will be the variable um, percentage hit name. Hit name like this and you can see that it is the sheep and it sheep is a string it is not a number like 100 and strings are represented as yellow uh in the and time as well there's yellow okay but yeah strings are mostly yellow booleans are either green or red and numbers are in light blue so that's how they are in the debug screen uh so yeah it is a string and we will be looking for that string so uh, what will we uh, be triggering it on? Well, since it's something that we constantly want active, it will be a script that will be constantly running. So I'm just going to close off this debug screen. I found the variable that I actually need, settings, debug, and it does take up a lot of space, and click OK. All right. Turned off the debug screen. Now let's get that loop running. So we're going to go make a button from that button's tutorial. And I will make the button uh, activate the script on when I press, for example, E, which is not used. So when I press E, I'll just make a test, see if, um, so it was hit name, like this. If I click and, I want it to echo hit name constantly. And I want that to be inside a loop, so do echo hit name, and then you want to wait. I'm uh, going to make it wait uh, 20 ticks, so that's about uh, one second normally, and then make it loop. Okay, now let's press E and have a look. So now it says sheep, now it says pig, and here it will say cow. So I think. Uh, so far it says none, so it really has to be in range for it to actually appear. Cow, none, cow, none, sheep, pig. So if I do make this um, this script a bit longer, so instead of every one second now, I'm going to make it every quarter of a second, so that would be five ticks. Alright, and instead, so it will still show it in chat, but instead of, instead of having everything um, 
in here I will add a if statement. So if and here I put hit name name equals and then sheep echo hit name and then end if. I think it's end if. There we go. Like just like this. Um so now when I press E the script will start and it will say sheep 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 and when I'm looking at the pig it doesn't do anything. Sheep 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 look at the cow doesn't do anything. Alright. So now we've got a quarter of a second of a cooldown on the sword since that's the, what the time is set at. And yeah. So let's go over here. Uh echo hit name, we will not echo we won't echo sheep in chat. We will now key use just like so. I think it's attack actually. Save. Just like that. So now when I look at when I press E, uh just want to make sure that I've got Yep, I've got this free. There we go. Automatically attacks the sheep when you look at it. And it won't attack any other entity. Uh so as long as the script is running, uh you will be constantly attacking sheep. So if I can find sheep here. So we're gonna spawn a few sheep in here. Yeah, you go. It starts punching the sheep, but not the uh, cows or the pigs. So let's put a pig there, a few cows in the mix, and um, get the sword out. So you'll see that it it doesn't attack the cow, but it does attack the sheep. Pig, nope. Sheep, yes. No, but yeah. Not the cow. Not the sheep. There you go, perfect. So now you've made an auto hitter in. So now you've basically made an auto hitter in Minecraft. <laughs> but it attacks sheep. So now what you want to do is go ahead and go over here and change sheep to cow. Save that. There we go. Go here, and when you look at the cow. It is not doing anything because I'm still I'm still uh, I didn't act deactivate the script up here. It's been running for eight minutes. All right, so now let's hit the cow. I just have to press E for it to activate. There we go. All right, so let's go. Pig, nope. Cow, yes, cow. Yep. All right, let's go. Sheep. So here, nothing. Sheep, not not working on the sheep. But the cow, yes, it, it will it will hurt the cow. Right, nope, not the sheep or pig. Let's see any other cows? Nope. All right. And I am not clicking on my mouse um, at all. So yeah, uh, let me just finish off manually the uh, things. So yeah, that was just a quick script, uh, and now that we've now now that we've started, uh, now that we've realised that um, these scripts are getting pretty long, um, like you, you can't just contain everything inside a whole script inside a little button like this. Uh, we what we're gonna be doing is putting that inside a um, .txt file, and I'll be showing you guys how to put that into a .txt file in the next episode, so you guys hang on and I'll be right there with you guys. See you later. Alright guys, so after having made this tutorial I've decided to set up a wall of tutorial requests that I'll be going through the coming through the comments and putting the best tutorial requests on this board, so there'll be requests um, mostly based on what I would like to do, uh, which basically falls down to stuff that I haven't yet done in the past. So if, for example, I've covered, um, I don't know, reading signs, and someone puts a request for automatically reading a sign when you look at it, and I've already covered head movement, I'm not going to do that request. You, you can look at the head movement video, you can look at the reading signs video and put two and two together and make it yourself. Um, 
However, for the ones that are up here, the autograph lapis blocks, that includes reading slots, checking uh, items, going through different arrays uh, of the, going yeah going through the slots as an array, um, checking the you know the idea of the block inside that, and that's a lot of manipulations that has a lot of it inside of it. So that would be a pretty cool tutorial to make, and I'll I will be doing that in the future. Um, another one that I've added is the multiple GUI pages, uh, which I have made in the past, but it was slightly in inaccurate. So I'm going to go over it again and just fix that small inaccuracy from my last video. It still works, but this time it'll just be a bit more accurate, accurate version of it. So yeah, I have at the moment five empty slots left that I'll be filling with your suggestions, and I hope this series moves forwards. And in the last video, I just finished the auto hit entities, so I now have six empty slots on my board for you guys to fill out uh, with multiple different suggestions of things. I will eventually do a sugarcane and auto block hit and stuff, um, but I will priority stuff on the board first, so it really depends on what you want to see in this series. Uh, I will look in the comments, add it to my board, and treat those, and just keep going till you guys have no more suggestions, which is going to be quite quite a long journey, hopefully. I hope you guys will have suggestions of things and tutorials and whatnot. Um, I will cover... There is a lot to come. That's all I can say, but right now I'm going to be focusing on the multiple GUI pages, uh, because I've covered buttons, I've covered the different pages, um, I've covered... <clears throat> actions and stuff. So I think this one just falls in line w with the continuation of the series. And then I will move on to arrays, maybe blocks and scripts. Um, so yes, um, my next video is going to be all about scripts. Um, but I will also include the multiple GUI pages. So I'll be uploading those two videos in the approximate, yeah, in approximately the same time frame, pages, then scripts. So yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.